Shane O'Neill goes for it, but it blazes well over the bar. Bit too much height on it, and the referee does blow the final whistle. So that is game, set, and match. Kerry win 12 points to 11 uh, in Fitzgerald Stadium. Big result in the end for Kerry. It was a match that certainly, in my opinion, was very, you know, not the best game, not the greatest spectacle, very even. Um, and it was a game that could have went either way, I felt. Um, plenty of fans running onto the pitch. I think some of them trying to get onto the pitch a little bit early, but it was a game that certainly could have went either way. You know, there was there wasn't a big there wasn't more than two point lead in this game at any stage. Um, and that really tells you everything you need to know. I mean, Armagh, look, they, they came with a game plan, and in many ways it didn't work in the end because Kerry came away with a victory, but it certainly put you know, it certainly made Kerry work for it. They certainly made Kerry work for it. I mean, they'd every man inside their own 45, hugely defensive, conceding the short kick out. And they very much said to Kerry, like, you come at us, you try and break us down. Um, and they allowed Kerry have the possession. And Kerry did have the possession. They had the majority of the ball, I think 64% in the first half. Um, and I do think Kerry, probably on the balance of play, were a slightly better side, but it was very, very even, very, very even in my opinion. And, you know, the score, the scoreline suggests that there wasn't much in it and it could have went either way. And that certainly was the case. I think Kerry's shooting maybe in the first half and even at times in the second half, let them down a little bit once again. I think that that's probably what, what cost them just a little bit, in my opinion. Um, I know they won the game in the end, but I think they would have won a far a little bit more comfortable. Um, you know, Clifford dropped two chances short in the second half, put another one wide. Tom O'Sullivan dropped two short in the first half. It was just shooting that probably let Kerry down a little bit in the game. And, and and that's certainly something I think they can work on. But in saying that, from looking on the TV and from looking on social media and, and from looking at how this game played, I mean, there must have been a heavy wind because, you know, you've seen Sean O'Shea missing chances. Rian O'Neill dropped one one effort that, that, that went wide as well from a from 45. Um, you know, and, and you know, another instance where he, he could have popped one over and, and in the end played it short. So you could definitely see the conditions definitely did play its part in this match. Um, and look, you know, I know people, some people will probably criticize Armagh for how they played, but I think in the end, like, you know, they came with a clear game plan. They, they, they stifled Kerry. They, they made it hard for them. Um, but you have to admire Kerry. You have to admire Kerry for, for holding their bottle because, you know, there was one stage in that game at the start of the second half. They went two points down at the start of the second half. And you were thinking, you know, um, this, this game suits Armagh. This game suits Armagh. It really, really does. And, um, you know, Armagh were able to even pull it back at one point and go a point in front, sort of going into the final couple of minutes. And it was a tough, tough game for Kerry in Killarney at home, having lost two of three games already. You know, they, they really, really needed to sort of, I suppose, sort of drag it, drag it out. And, and in fairness, they did do that. You know, they had to hold their nerve. They had to wait for their opportunities and wait for their chances. And, you know, it was a tough night for David Clifford. Don't think he scored from play. Um, you know, a lot of heavy challenges going in on him. I think, you know, I've seen him with a bloody nose at one point. Um, it, it was a tough game for the, for the carry forwards to really get into, to come alive, to, to make something happen. Um, and Armagh were just, you know, they were relentless defensively. You could argue the case the referee probably gave, you know, one or two soft frees towards the end there. I mean, that you know, the, the, the late free in the end from David Clifford. Uh, probably not a free in my opinion. You know, but I think you could argue that both ways. I remember Armagh getting one or two soft frees as well. It was a tough game to referee because there was a lot of fails. There was a lot of challenges going in. Um, and look, it wasn't, you know, as I said, it wasn't a great game. It was very, very cagey. Kerry just had to wait and bide their time to, to break through Armagh. Um, you know, and, and in fairness to Armagh, like, you have to give them credit. Like, when we look at the statistics, like, they were, like, shooting-wise, a lot more clinical than Kerry, you know? Um, more clinical in the first half. In the second half, just one chance went wide from Rian O'Neill, is what I remember. Um, and obviously, they were playing against the Breeze in the second half, so it was tougher for them. Um, but like I thought, they, I thought they, they coped very, very well. Um, you know, no goal chances really in the game. Just a sort of typical Saturday night National Football League game in tough conditions, and we, we've seen a lot of them. Um, and look, considering. I suppose the class levels and the players on show for Kerry Armagh maybe it was a bit a little bit disappointed we didn't get a bit more, but I think at the same time you would look at 
either you know there was so much on the line for either side because for Kerry if they had lost this three defeats and four and you know they're staring down the barrel of of a possible relegation battle whereas Armagh you know you're looking at it now and just one win in their opening four could they maybe be in a bit of trouble I, I still think they'll be okay I think they played well tonight to be honest I think defensively to Amanda were very solid um, going forward you know in tough conditions their efficiency was there uh, Jason Duffy I was impressed with Rian O'Neill looked good you know so I think they you know I think they they can hold their hats up high I think it was just one of those cases where you know Kerry just just nicked it just nicked it you know and um, it, it really could have went either way we'll run through the scores in total and then we'll uh, run through some uh, some comments there because plenty of comments flying in uh, Dara Roach with it. So run through the scores. Dara Roach with a point. David Clifford with four. Paddy Clifford with a point. Sean O'Shea with a point. Uh, Barry O'Sullivan, who I actually think was man of the match, in my opinion. I thought he was outstanding uh, in, in midfield for Kerry. I thought he had a really, really good, good game. Tyg Morley was very good as well. Paul Murphy with a point. Uh, Tyg Morley with a point. Uh, Tom O'Sullivan, actually, I thought was quite lively. And I thought he, he'd be another contender for man of the match. Um, You know, he... You know, was making a lot happen. He didn't score, but he was making a lot happen, in fairness. Uh, from Armagh, three points from Rian O'Neill, one from Stephen Campbell, two for, for Jardio Burns, a point for Aiden Forker in there at uh, fullback as well. Connor Turba came off, got himself a point. Ethan Rafferty getting uh, a point as well. And uh, Tony Brosnan, actually, that lay point in the end, put, you know, that sensational lay point from him turned out to be the winner. Um, yeah, we'll just run through some comments here. Um, uh, Jack says, uh, smash and grab, got a soft one when Foley called, went both ways, typical boys, both teams get call against them. Um, yeah, look, I mean, the, you know, you, you probably argue the case that Kerry got a few soft frees there towards the end and, you know, probably more soft frees than Armagh, but look, you know, Think I think home advantage makes a big difference in the in, in these games because you know when there is a foul you'll see the, the referee or you'll see the fans go crazy and it, and it does it does play into the psyche of the of the referee in my opinion. Um, Noel Daly says fair play to our Armagh played well. Yeah, look, they did play well, and 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 I think at the same time from an Armagh perspective, I think. You know, the, the, I don't think there's too many negatives you take away from that. The only negative would be the fact that you lost the game. But I think generally Armagh played quite well, like defensively set up, you know, kept Clifford scorers from play, um, lost by a point, by, by the narrowest of margins. And, um, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a tough it was a tough game for them in tough conditions. Um, and, and I think they can be, be happy with how they played. But I think the most important thing for Armagh will be to go out and win next week and start getting results on the board so that they don't, you know, creep into a relegation battle. Um, but I think one would say that, you know, they, they played all right. Look, Kerry, you know, didn't do a lot wrong either. Their shooting at times was a little bit poor, but, you know, in the end, they won the game. So, it, you know, it, it didn't quite it didn't quite matter uh, in the end. Um, so, yeah, there we have it. There we have it. Kerry, 12 points to 11 points. The Kingdom run out winners in the end. Massive, massive result for Kerry. Congratulations, to them uh, i will clip this uh, last part up here and, and put it out as a match reaction so that'll be out a little bit later as well as plenty more content to come of course mayo and tyrone about to throw in in a couple of minutes time so we'll definitely be watching that one as well so uh yeah big congratulations to the kingdom big congratulations to kerry massive result for them disappointing one from an armar perspective but look it was a game that really really could have went either way i felt um and look, fair play, fair play. Kerry get the win. Two wins out of two from home, from at home. Of course, two defeats away from home. And, you know, uh, good to see Clifford, Paddy Clifford, Sean O'Shea back. And a big, big result. But certainly, we'll have to work on their shooting a lot more. But you would say conditions and fairness were a little bit tough. Conditions were tough. So we'll, we'll let them away with that one. Uh, but yeah, cheers on everyone tuned in. Hit the like button, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.